Hola a todos, bienvenidos to the mastermind where we keep on track with goals, intentions, things that we want to be doing with our life to be moving forward, taking steps towards that better version of life. I already said life, but yeah. We help each other get over obstacles, we cheer each other on, and keep each other accountable to do the things that we said we were going to do. So comment down below what you said you were going to do last week, and let's start with also what I was doing last week, what I've done last week. <laughs> what has happened this past week? ¿Por qué no puedo hablar? I bought a plant recently. <gasps> oh my goodness. I get so... When we go to a store, I either like try not to really look at the plants or I go and just drool over all the plants. Like I could spend like, don't say like, I could spend so long just <laughs> looking at plants. Anyway, newest edition. I also had listened to a podcast, again, Uncomfortable Pants podcast. If you haven't checked them out, I will, this is them, but you can check it down in the description box. It's a couple of sisters who kind of talk about hard things or just kind of improving life type of things. So that's very much something that I have enjoyed. <laughs> One thing they said in their recent podcast that I listened to is to ask someone instead of saying, what do you do? Say, what makes you happy? Because sometimes when you say, what do you do? It's like you're putting that person into a box of this is what they do and this is what they're all about. <laughs> but a lot of times people don't even enjoy their jobs. So it's way more fun to have a conversation about what makes you happy than to talk about work or things that you do that you might not like. So what makes you happy, you could still talk about your work as long as it's the parts that make you happy, right? So I think that's a really fun thing to keep in mind that I wanted to share with you all. Let me know in the comments down below, what makes you happy? What makes me happy? I might as well share what I, I what makes me happy as well. Plants, <laughs> plants make me happy. <laughs> oh, I just love them. Being a mom, doing new things with my kids or with my husband or with loved ones, experiencing things, Spending time outside, which I haven't done enough of lately, I think. Those are a few of the top things. Of course, there are so much more. Are there, There is so much more. There are so many more things. Also books and connecting with y'all. <laughs> y'all, 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 y'all. It's really cool to connect with you guys. So if y'all would do it more, then we could connect more. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna stop asking what I did this past week, unless there's anything cool that I want to share. Because I can never remember what I did the past week, unless I write down a note <laughs> that says to remember about something. What did I say I was going to do last week from the Mastermind journal? Yes, I journaled a few times and it was very nice. One of those times I actually went out to a nature preserve that we have nearby and got to sit among the trees, so that was lovely. And also the mosquitoes. <laughs> I think I'll continue to pull out my journal whenever I feel like I have a minute to journal, or if I need to step away from screens for a bit, or whatever it may be. Oh, I want to share another thing from the past week. I talked to my sister, and she has a smartphone, of course. Who doesn't have a smartphone, right? And she said she dumbed it down to be as dumb of a smartphone as you can have. <laughs> she disabled her internet. I don't know if you can delete or disable the camera or hide the camera so that she uses her physical DSLR camera when she goes places. I think that really helps you be much more intentional about what you're taking pictures of, right? And in that way, you will have much less of a problem like I have of your phone is full, filled up of space, you can't take another photo, or your Google Drive is filled up and you have to pay if you want to keep that storage. I think that's very interesting and I'm not quite ready to take those steps yet, but I do want to go in that direction of kind of dumb phone. And I've even thought of actually buying a flip phone to do an experiment of maybe a month or something and see how it goes. And yeah, I really just, there's a lot of thing about things about the smartphone. It's kind of a lot of time suck, time wasting, and I just, have been way too attached to my screens lately, way more than I would like to. So that was also an interesting thing. Let's see, I'm gonna put it on my list for later on, like as a, what do I wanna pick out of this list to do this week? 
but I'm not gonna do it right now. Dumb down the smartphone. Second thing I said I was going to do from last week is to have quiet time for the kids. I did not do this every single day, but most days, and it's going really well. Like I said, Tony likes to play on his own a lot, and Valentina, she loves music, first of all, and she also thinks it's cool to listen for the timer. And actually, the times that I've left her with my phone timer in the bedroom, she'll click the restart button on the timer when it rings. For example, I'll be at my computer and she's over in her bedroom and I don't even hear the timer ring because it's too far away and she'll just click the button before I even hear it or realize that 15 minutes already passed. So I'm going to start increasing that as time goes on and I have really enjoyed having them do the quiet time. It's working well, so I will continue to do that in el futuro as we move forward. Third thing is video planning through the end of the year. Yes, I have worked on my calendar, putting some ideas in, having kind of a rough outline of whatever's going on for the rest of the year. And it's been really good even so far to just look at dates and where do holidays fall and where, what kind of videos do I wanna do around those dates and to have that then in the back of my mind, even after I'm not looking at my calendar anymore to, yeah. Just kind of have it simmering. Para la próxima semana, I want to, as I said about storage, I want to go through my photos in my Google storage and just delete. I'm sure there's a lot of screenshots I don't need, random pictures of documents or things online that I've sh shared between me and my husband of, can you buy this for me? Or this is the type of lawnmower we want or whatever it may be. <laughs> because things that we send to each other then get saved into our phone and then whatever's saved in my phone automatically uploads to Google. Random photos that Valentina has taken on my phone. Um, sure, there's videos from making YouTube videos that I have in my Google that I have two or three other copies of elsewhere. If I could just automatically delete copies of stuff, that would be amazing. That'd be a game changer. <laughs> And actually, now that I'm thinking about this, I'm gonna say spend 30 minutes on it because this could be something that I do while I'm breastfeeding on my phone or it could be I sit down and do it. But I've noticed that if I don't set something, either specific time frame of what I'm gonna do or a specific thing that I need to see accomplished by the end of the time that I'm doing it, if I don't do one of those more specific things, then it doesn't get done or it's a lot harder for me to do even to start. So clear photos in Google is pretty vague. I need to, yeah, 30 minutes I think is good. The next thing, as I was doing some of these journaling exercises, again, I'll link that down below if you're interested in the, I think it's called 12 journaling exercises that changed my life or something, Leon Hendricks. I'll also link the video down below. It's made me realize things that I need to be doing to level up in different areas of my life, in fitness, in health, in, what are the areas? Finances, in relationships. Some of those questions were, what is the next level that you want to reach in each of these areas? So it made me really think about that and as I was writing out the next level that I want to be, I realized there are things that I could already be doing to get to work towards that next level. And I thought, ¿Por qué no lo estoy haciendo? If I want to have more plants in my house, why am I not buying more plants, right? Or propagating the plants that I already have so that I have more pots around my house, which is something that I have done. So that that's just an example. But yeah, I have been buying plants and I have been propagating from my own plants. So I, <laughs> I have so many plants now, oh, but I'm still looking for more because I want, I just have some visions and images in my vision board and my mind movie thing that I'm just, oh, they're so amazing. <laughs> so actually with that, there are a couple of propagated plants that are in water that need to go into pots in soil. So I'm gonna put that as my next thing to repot plants. I think I have three in water and then I have one that's probably root bound because it's turning yellow. So it's just outgrown its small container and I need to put it in a big, bigger container. Oh, and as a part of repotting, I need to mix compost with the soil to put in the plants. I've learned from 
If you haven't watched, if you haven't seen Creative Explain, I think he has a YouTube channel, TikTok, Instagram. I've watched some of his reels on Instagram. He's like, like, he is, I don't know if he, where he learns these things, but he teaches about ways to make your plants healthier and stuff that's in your kitchen, scraps that you could be using for your plants. And he has a whole bunch of other stuff too, random household things. But anyway, I've been learning about plants a lot. Okay. And number three, I just want to do something fun. I think I've gotten to a point of, I try to keep the mastermind pretty good, light, interesting, but sometimes it feels like I'm running on a treadmill, running and running, 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 and not really getting a break at all. Especially with uploading two videos a week on YouTube. If you've ever uploaded to YouTube, it's film, edit, upload, film, edit, upload, film, edit, upload. And it's not, I mean, I, I tend to give, try to give myself Sundays to just break, like no editing, no filming, no nothing. But it does kind of feel like, oh my gosh, it's Tuesday again. Oh my gosh, it's Saturday again. Oh my gosh, it's Tuesday again. Because those are my upload days. And so it always feels like, okay, I'm just, now I need to film. Now I need to edit. Now I need to upload. Now I need to do the last minute after uploading things. And it just kind of feels like, not even a treadmill, a como se llama, the gerbil thing, the ferris wheel thingy, hamster wheel, hamster wheel, is that what they're called? <laughs> it feels like running on a hamster wheel with no break, breaking, break, breaks. All that to say, I just want to do something fun this week, whether it be go get a float tank appointment or go and walk in the woods at the nature preserve or go down to the state park or just something, something fun. Go have a picnic maybe with my kids, whatever it is, something fun. We'll see how the week goes and see what we want to do. Thanks for watching. Comment your stuff down below. Let me know if you accomplished your stuff from last week. If you haven't seen last week's mastermind, you can check it out here. Okay. We'll see you next Tuesday with a mastermind and on Saturday with another video. Okay. Bye.